As a young girl, I loved my music and I was kind of an overachiever. Growing up in Portland, Oregon, Cecily Reverman performed her first solo in a church at the age of five for a congregation of a thousand. It was fun. It was something just to have fun with. Do you feel that in the loose? Do you feel that? Yep. Yeah. She's still having fun, only now she has a goal to make it to the Metropolitan Opera. In today's lesson, voice and opera department chair Patty Tom shows Cecily the proper way to use her jaw. Je lui puoi sento l'alma vampar. Je lui puoi sento l'alma vampar. Cecily works extraordinarily hard and she's really focused and she's serious. She takes herself seriously. This aria is from The Marriage of Figaro. My character is um, professing his love for the Countess. His feelings are so new to me. I, I, don't, know, I don't know what they mean. I, I get cold and then I get hot. And I sigh and I, I, I feel all tormented and then I feel happy. She's very ambitious and she, she wants big things for herself. She's also got a lovely voice. But ambition and a lovely voice won't necessarily get you to the Met, says Patty Tom. You have to be fearless. You have to be willing to make mistakes in public. And you have to have qualities that can't be taught, says faculty member Michael Lewin. Passion, musicality, personality, charisma, power, these are things that you're born with. If you have that, then, you know, it's easy for me to fix your fingers or help your sound. So your finger is very active. Lewin, who carefully selects the students he works with, singled out Shi Wei Cheng for what he calls the young man's abundance of temperament. Virtuosity and color and creativity and individuality. So I think you need to tighten up your rhythm. For Lewin, himself an internationally acclaimed artist, nurturing gifted young pianists is crucial. Because, you know, I've spent my life doing this and pursuing this art. You and me can live that high life in New York. When it opened just two years after the Civil War, Boston Conservatory broke new ground admitting African-Americans and women. That commitment to being a school for the community still runs deep in its culture, says President Richard Ortner. We make a religion, if you will, out of bringing what we do to audiences that can't come to us. The students at this school are at Children's Hospital and Rosie's Place and M Moorville House. Moorville House is a nearby elderly residence where Maria Lisa and Maria Esther Alvarez have signed up to play today. The twin sisters are postgraduate students from Venezuela. So you feel very good to bring something to people that, that they love it. Yeah, I think so, because we spend also a lot of time in a practice room. So it's good to experience something else to, yeah, to share with people what, what you do. These are young people who know in their heart of hearts that the work they do out there in the community is their rent for being alive on the planet. If I didn't follow my dreams and if I didn't follow what I really wanted to do in life, then I don't know if I would really be happy ultimately. classrooms that we've seen have looked a bit cramped. Well, that's going to change because they're, the, they're in the middle of a $16 million building campaign right now. And that's going to include a major renovation of their theater space and three large new studios as well. Also, a reminder to look into the dozens of free performances at the Boston Conservatory by going to theBostonChannel.com.